just want to let you guys know, basically I live up in the uh, Great North, so it's cold up here. Need a lot of layers, a lot of snow. Just want to say hello from where I am, and as you can see, it's still winter here. But, I think the most important thing that people fail to realize is what people say that have seen the most fights. That's what matters. Someone can say, oh, you know, this, this cat would win over that cat, or this animal would win over that animal. It doesn't really matter unless they've seen the fights. That's what matters. Flamingo up in that window. That's really what matters. And quite frankly, you have to see fights between the males of the species, as with anything. If you have a lion or tiger and it kills a female bear, who cares? There virtually isn't any trainers that mix the males of the cats that actually said the tiger would win. Now there's a couple of trainers. One of them is named Alex Kerr. He's an English trainer. So technically he did things the European way. We've got pictures of him you know, kissing a cat and holding a cat over his shoulder. So, Dave Hoover, who said the lion would win, did things the American way. It was a fighting act. The animals were not as tame. So, that matters, because you can actually take the fight out of anything if you selectively breed it. And that's what they did the European way. They selectively bred these cats to have no fight in them. So they wouldn't hurt each other and they wouldn't hurt the trainer to make it safe. So it's important to understand that. Um, if you look at the Lacey brothers, they, all of their cats are from their own descendants, from their own breeds, okay? All of them. They don't use any cats. That, that are new. Why? Because they don't trust it. The Lacey brothers only use lions and tigers that they have selectively bred to make tame. Again, it's all safety. So if you do that for many generations, think of how long the Lacey brothers from Britain have been, I mean, they've been in the circus business forever. Right? So, think about that. <laughs> you know how tame that cat would be? With each litter, you just take the tamest one, the most friendliest one out of it. Um, it's colder than I thought. So, you gotta understand that. That if you selectively breed the tamest cat out of the litter, think how tame that's gonna eventually be after many generations of doing that. That's the goal. That's not what Dave Hoover did. That's not what Clyde Betty did. That's not what Bert Nelson did. That is what the Europeans do, okay? So look at the pictures of Alex Kerr with his tiger named Khan. And here's the problem. The trainers that said the lion won, they mixed multiple male tigers and lions, okay? That's multiple, numerous. How the heck can you judge whether a cat is going to win by only seeing one specimen of that gender? You can't. So you got to see multiple, numerous, okay? Clyde Betty at one point had at least 10 male tigers in the 40s and two tigresses, okay? So he got to see 10 different male tigers at different points 
in different seasons go up against male lions. And he had over about 2,000 tigers total that he mixed. Again, if in the 40s, 10 were male, two were tigresses, think how many males that would be through the years. People ask, why did Clyde Betty use tigresses? Because they might get killed, right? From the lions. I thought it was, I think it was this cold. I thought it was like 16, but I think it must be like five or, There's always some like huge storm now. Like every other week, it's the same thing. This massive storm comes through. Um. Wow. Look at this snow. Look at this. this. Stuff is so dry. It's like fake snow from a snow globe. Crazy. So yeah. What I was trying to say is that you have to see multiple males, okay? You can't just see, Alex Kerr does not count. And he never mentioned a fight. And there's no evidence that he mixed multiple male tigers. He used to mix male lions. Man, look at this snow. It's sick. It's fake. It's so cold, it's like super dry. Okay. So, and the other guy, Pat Anthony, is the other supposed mixed trainer. And he used mostly lionesses. And he took the tough males out of the act. So that doesn't really count. He had one male lion in the act for most of his career. And he took the mean ones out. Yeah, because they were too dangerous, he said. They caused too much trouble. Same story. Same story with all these guys. Male lion's problem, get rid of them. Go to an all tiger act. So that's the problem with it. And then, Dad Anthony even said that, that Clyde Betty had a lot of, get this exactly, I'm paraphrasing, but Clyde Betty had lost some beautiful tigers to old male lions. That's what Pat Anthony said. So he knew something we didn't know, because guess what, guys? As much as you Tiger fans hate Clyde Betty, but you love a, a trainer that defends the, uh, the Tiger, or says <laughs> defends the Tiger. We all should defend the Tiger. That's not my point. Defends the Tiger, the Tiger's fighting ability, whatever. He thinks that it would be a lion. Pat Anthony does. So, okay, now, Pat Anthony, he's a great trainer, right? Okay, so then we like Pat Anthony. He's not an animal abuser now. Because he said the tiger would win, yay! Holy cow, look at that. It's so, they used the wrong guys. Man, this is really coming down. Here's the problem. Wow. It's like fake. Here's the problem. Glad Betty was incredibly good friends. With Pat Anthony. Actually, better put, Pat Anthony loved Clyde Betty and liked him and learned from him and admired him. And they were good friends. So let me tell you something. Pat Anthony favors the tiger. Well, yeah, because the guy had mostly lionesses in his act. Of course he's going to favor the tiger. You know, he's not watching tough male lions fight much. He's keeping them separate too and he's using them as a showpiece. So you can't, oh man, you, you can't decide like that. And then he even quotes male lion. And he had to fight, and then he didn't really have them fight much. He never mentioned any fights. Betty talked about team fights all the time. So I think Betty knows. Bert Nelson talks about team fights all the time. Okay? So they know. These guys, shoot my hand. These guys know because they talked about seeing fights. Pat Anthony and Alex Kerr did not really talk about actually specific examples of fights. They did. It's like the never ending plowing around here. Every day, day and night, plows. It's unbelievable. This 
power grid. Yes.